Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you are thinking about or currently in a connection with at this time. We're going to look at how they are thinking about you, what are their feelings towards you, how do they view you or this connection, and what are their intentions towards you towards the future. And also we'll wrap it up with what they wish they could tell you that maybe they haven't told you, what message, you know, would they have for you if they could speak to you or if they could be honest with you. And let's jump right in. For Gemini. What does Gemini need to know regarding love? We have the Four of Cups and the Strength card reverse. Leo energy with strength. Okay. Um, past energies or influences on this situation we have the six of cups reverse that makes a lot of sense seven of cups reverse okay how you feel about this person wow the ace of cups and the six of pentacles reverse this is going to be such like a typical gemini reading i can already tell let's move these over Okay, and then how they are thinking of you or thinking about you. Knight of Pentacles reverse, oh, man. And Page of Cups reverse, okay. Um, hidden factors, what you need to know. We have the Fool and the King of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, this is such a Gemini reading. <laughs> okay. And then the future outcome or what you can expect in the near future. Five of Wands, reverse. The Devil, reverse. Nice. Capricorn energy. That's good energy. I'm happy about that. Okay. And then the overall energy, the root, why everything is happening. Bottom of the deck, the Four of Swords. <laughs> Four of Swords, Gemini. If you're new to the channel, then you probably don't know what this Four of Swords means. But for me as a reader, the Four of Swords is like nothing's really happening. There's no communication. There's no action. Someone is just resting and reflecting. There's a lot of thinking going on, maybe even planning, but nothing that you can really see or hear. Okay. Gemini, you're really um, interested in this person, maybe even invested emotionally in this person because you have the Ace of Cups here. And they have the Page of Cups reversed. So disappointment, heartbreak. In their mind, um, or at least in their energy, their emotions are a bit twisted. Um, when this person thinks about you or this connection, they just think about, I guess they feel disappointed and heartbroken rather than focusing on the positive. I feel like this person is constantly thinking about what went wrong, what's not happening. Let's see. Can we get some clarity, please, for Gemini? Does Gemini need to know about these energies? I have to be honest. This current energy, the Four of Cups with the Strength card reverse, I'm a bit like i don't know what that's all about so i can't wait to kind of dig in to that and see what that could be okay all right so tower at the bottom of the deck this is going to be an interesting reading i can already tell okay well let's start with this four of cups because i find it very fascinating that the overall energy is the four of swords and that's the first card that we got was the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is a card about like um, disinterest, dissatisfaction. Someone's not happy, um, not open to anything new. All they can focus on, on is what has already taken place. Um, I mean, look at the way that this woman looks in this card. Things just don't seem to be going great. Um, and, you know, it makes sense with all these under, other energies here. There's nothing really happening. And I think a lot of Geminis are kind of like, what is really going on for me in love? Why is nothing taking place? 
you know, I'm losing interest in this or, you know, why am I still here? That kind of energy. Okay, hold on. Let me get my life together here. Okay, can I get uh, an energy here for the Four of Cups? Why is the Four of Cups here for Gemini? Why is the Four of Cups here? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I almost get the, you know, the sense that you're waiting for someone to give you something or give to this connection. Um, the Six of Pentacles is reversed on your in your energy. So I feel like there's something that you're not getting. There's something that's not in balance. And I think it's because you've been waiting for this, but it hasn't, it's not really happening. Can I get one more for the Four of Cups? Why is the Four of Cups here? Oh, we got two. The Fool, again. Yeah, I, th I think this is what you're waiting for. And then the Eight of Cups. See, this is what I mean. I feel like some of you are thinking, should I wait for this new beginning or should I walk away from this? Because some something's not really happening for me or something's just not satisfying in this connection. So I feel like some of you could be going back and forth. And this could also be your person because this is what's going on in your connection at this time what's going on for you in love. So this could be your energy or a mix of their energies. So why is strength reverse? Why is strength reverse? What's this here with strength? Four of wands? Why is strength reverse? Six of Swords. So I feel like in your mind, you're really thinking about movement. Because um, you have, um, or not you, but the current situation, there's the Six of Swords here, the Eight of Cups. These are cards about departures. So either you're thinking about leaving something or maybe your person needs to leave some, some situation or um, head towards you or something like that. I really do feel like some of you are wondering if we should go after a new beginning or if you know something's taking too long. Like I still feel that energy. Let's see what this Four of Swords is about because this is kind of the why everything is happening. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? Yeah, two of wands. There, there's just a waiting game. This is a waiting game. Can I get one more for this four of swords? Oops. Of course. I don't understand why I can't get it together. I was just curious to look at the cards and look at this ace of cups the world page of pentacles in the tower <laughs> i feel like this this is what someone's waiting for like look at this energy i think a tower is imminent i saw the tower when i was when i first picked up this deck it, it's just flew out of the deck now Maybe that's what's necessary. Can I get one more for this Four of Swords? Ten of Wands, yeah. There's, okay, so there's a lot happening here. Gemini, basically, I feel whatever's taking place, if there's, if you're sitting there and, you, and, and, this, and this is a connection you've been dealing with for a while and nothing is happening, there's no communication, there's no action, there's a reason for it. It's not like, something's not happening because someone doesn't want something to happen right there's a reason why things have not 
why there is a waiting game here. Make sure that I don't tip over the tripod because that would just be the cherry on the Sunday. So let's look down here. This is um, kind of uh, what's influencing the current situation. So this could be the past. This could be just other things that we need to take into account. The Six of Cups is reversed. So right away when I saw this card, I, th I thought that there's something unresolved with the past. There's something that's just not resolved. And then I saw the Seven of Cups reverse. And this card can mean that someone has had many options and has finally chosen an option. But this card sometimes can mean that someone chose the wrong option. There were many options to choose from and they didn't choose the right cup. So let's see what this is here. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. Why is the Six of Cups reverse? Page of Wands. So Page of Wands is kind of about, well, let me. Page of Wands is kind of about beginnings. Um, it's taking the initiative, the initial steps to do something. Um, so I find it interesting that it's kind of, here where I was talking about there's something unresolved with the past. Well, this would be a great way to take steps to fix something, resolve something. So let's see. Can I get one more for the Six of Cups? Reverse. Queen of Swords. That's definitely your energy there, Gemini. The High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. So when I see the Queen of Swords with the High Priestess, I think of clearing the air. I think of bringing something out into the open. Um, I think of expressing something that hasn't been expressed. And I also think of information because the High Priestess is about psychic knowledge, spiritual knowledge, um, knowledge that needs to be revealed to you, right? So when I see the Queen of Swords here, I think, well, who better to do that than the Queen of Swords? I really think this has to do with clarity information here. Um, the, the past, I feel, can only be resolved or dealt with if someone's willing to do this. So let's see what the Seven of Cups is doing here, reverse. Spirit, why is the Seven of Cups reverse? Why is the Seven of Cups reverse? The Eight of Swords. Why is the Seven of Cups reverse? Wow, the wheel. So I'm thinking that someone is possibly stuck, afraid, fearful, stuck in their head, Perhaps the Wheel of Fortune is a card about events that move things forward. It could be someone that has a lucky break. It could be someone that has that, you know, good, good, good fortune that rains upon them or, you know, good, good fortune, fate and fortune on their side, etc., etc. And so they are very successful. They tend to be very lucky. Wheel of Fortune for me as a reader is a card also about timing. Um, things happening in the right time. Serendipity, right? I want to get one more about this Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Eight of Pentacles came out again. So I feel like this is, yeah, okay, Ace of Pentacles. I was, I, I shuffled a little bit and then I put it down, but I think it was, I'm meant to see that because this is about an opportunity. I feel like someone's working hard on making something happen. On I, I, I heard opening a door. So it's almost like someone's, 
sometimes an opportunity is something that you have to create for yourself. And I think that's kind of the energy I'm picking up here. Someone's thinking, okay, so I need to put time, effort, energy into opening a door. Because right now, I don't have any options. I can't see a way out. This could be you, this could be your person. This is influencing what's happening here. So if this is somebody that is stuck and needing to leave a situation, because I do have the Six of Swords and the Four of Wands here, so I think of someone leaving home. Um, the Eight of Cups is here, the Fool is here. If someone's thinking about this, if someone's not happy, if they are trying to you know, keep their strength up and they're losing strength, losing courage, then I can understand why this is here. I think that whatever is happening, Gemini, whatever is happening in this connection between you and this person, whether this is you or your person, the circumstances have gotten to a point where someone's thinking about getting out or leaving. There's a theme here about departure and timing because there's a waiting, there's someone's waiting for something here. And that your person has the Knight of Pentacles reversed because of course they do, because this is a Gemini reading. <laughs> so, okay, let's tap into your energies. some room here you still see that okay spirit can i get some insight into the energies between gemini and this person that they're dealing with or will be dealing with what do we need to know about the energies between Gemini and this other person. What do we need to know? Tell me about Gemini's energies. Oh, I think these two. Inner voice and true love. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path. The connection between you is genuine and true. So what I'm thinking here is being guided to your true partner, your true love. I think of you intuitively knowing that this is your person, this is your partner. I feel for the Geminis that I'm reading for, um, and this is just a common theme with Gemini readings on my channel. Um, I feel like this is a guided partnership, a divinely guided partnership. So divine timing, soulmates, past life connections, is very prominent here on my channel anyway and this kind of makes sense i also get the sense that intuitively there's it's, it's almost like you know something about this connection i don't know if your intuition has told you or revealed things to you if you've been guided about love or something like that but it's almost like you know something before you should know it. Tell me about Gemini's person. What do we need to know about their energies? What do we need to know about their energies? Secret admirer, you've caught someone's eye. So this person is keeping tabs on you. This person, that's another theme that I have with a lot of, you know, check out the Gemini playlist if you wanna see more of the readings that Geminis have been getting lately. Because I feel like this is just a continuation of those readings. Um, this person, I feel, admires you, Gemini. They um, keep tabs on you. They admire you. They watch you. They, whatever it is. And, and I feel like it's not something they do in the open. Okay, I want to get one more. The animal spirit. Just 
expert, can I get some more information, insight please, on the energies between Gemini and this other person? All of the decks that I use are listed in the description box if you're curious. Tell me about Gemini's energy. Tell me about Gemini's energy. The elk. So this is kind of like the king of pentacles, um, which he's right there. Steady, grounded, committed, loyal, dependable, reliable, etc., etc., etc. That's the elk. Very solid energy. Um, I feel like this is the kind of love that you are interested in. Um, you could be uh, interested in an earth sign because I, I swear there's something going on between Gemini's and an earth sign. Tell me about Gemini's person. Oh my gosh, the oyster. So this person is clam shut, not communi- I don't think this person is communicating with you or if they are, they haven't told you something they need to tell you. This person is keeping secrets. They're keeping something hidden. Yeah, and there's the crocodile. I feel like this person, as they watch you keep tabs on you, um, they haven't told you something or they haven't uh, revealed something. Move this up. Um, so I find that very fascinating. But these two cards kind of go together so well. Okay. Let's clarify your energies. I don't even feel like I should clarify the Ace of Cups, but I will, because to me it's so clear. When you think, when you, please ignore my dogs. When you think about this, uh, this person, when you think about this connection, you think about how you feel. There's a lot of feelings here. Leon, please ignore my dog. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Strength, Leo energy. Interesting. I feel like you've been holding on to this connection because of the feelings that you have. So I don't know, and I don't think this is this might not resonate with all of you, but I feel like there's almost like a like a hold. What's at the bottom of the deck? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like this is um, it's like you being strong or brave is not really what I'm picking from this picking up from this card. Let's get another one. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? King of Wands. Well, there's a lot of fire energy here. Passion. But again, I'm getting like, there's a, there's something that draws you to this person. And I think it's because this is a, di a divinely guided connect. It's like you can't shake this person. If that's resonating for you, let me know down in the comments. Is this a situation where there's really nothing going on between you and this person, but you can't let each other go. There's like a thread that binds you. And I'm not, I, I don't think I'm imagining that. And I think that's part of the confusion too, is why am I still holding on to this? Why do I still feel this way when things are not in balance, when I'm not getting anything from this person, from this connection? Tell me about the Six of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, there's something here that's not really, it's like stuck. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's almost like someone's standing guard. But, 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 <laughs> but it's not like there's, they've been rewarded. Why am I picking this up? It's such a weird energy. 
like I'm getting here like some someone is like emotionally stuck can I get one more for the six of Pentacles reverse and the two of swords is about making a difficult decision the two of wands is here as well which is about choosing a path forward why is the six of Pentacles reverse Queen of Pentacles again and then there's a the tower So the Queen of Pentacles, they are the ultimate partner. They are, they give a lot of themselves. Um, they have a lot to give, a lot to offer, etc. I think this is your energy too. You do have the Elk, very similar energy here with the Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like you have a lot to give, at least a lot of love that I see here, but you're stuck. You can't give to this connection or you're not getting what you deserve from this connection. 